Hi, this is Donna Jacunas, and I want to go over the border for my tuna nook shawl, cowl, and gaiter. This is the gaiter that I knit with super bulky yarn. I'm using it here so you can see it really well. This part is the border where there's some garter stitch, and then you go into stockinette stitch with some lace, and that's a little bit different on each project. But we're going to look at the border here. So we can see that it scallops because of the way the decreases in yarn overs are lined up. You don't have to do anything to make that happen, but follow the chart. We've got garter stitch in one section and a little stockinette because the border ends here. And making a little lace pattern, cast on and knit up. So let me show you the chart for that. For our shawl knit along in the first week, we're gonna just knit the border and then a few more rows. We'll set up the little pattern, but we're not gonna continue past that. Because this is a lot of knitting, we have a lot of stitches to cast on. So what I wanted to show you on this chart specifically is these highlighted stitches. So you're gonna see this up on the top of the chart too, but we're starting down here. So I've got this zoomed in here. What does this mean? The reason I've highlighted those is where the red part is, you may put markers. I actually put markers every two repeats. You could put a marker between every repeat if you want, but I, every two should be good enough to keep track um, if you're experienced. If you're a brand new lace knitter, put a marker between every repeat. Well, why is this an issue? Well, because you're gonna have to take out that marker to work this decrease. And look at this symbol. We're taking three stitches and making it into one stitch. That's part of what this symbol shows. And what are those three stitches? These three stitches become the decrease, and those lines are kind of pointing at them. So this is slip one, knit two together, pass the slip stitch over. So this is the stitch we're gonna slip. Don't you have to take the marker off, knit two together, pass the slip stitch over. But we want that marker to be here when we're done, so that the decrease is on the left side of the marker. So we're gonna have to move things around, take the marker off, put it on, and then do the decrease. Okay, so you'll figure it out when you get to it, but the reason that I'm showing you this here is because I wanna make sure you don't miss that. That's why those notes are in the pattern, and in this update that I sent for the knit along specifically, PDF, you'll see these stitches highlighted, okay? And then also for the knit along, I recommend you put a lifeline here on row 12, and then a lifeline after you do row 22. There's a ton of stitches here. We're gonna decrease later, but for a while, you're gonna have a ton of stitches. If you get this border and it looks nice, put a lifeline. If you get the next part and it looks nice, put a lifeline, okay? Now, before we cast on, I want you to do a swatch. So I've got some instructions for exactly how to do the swatch here. We're gonna cast on 37 stitches. We're gonna knit the first part of this chart for the border. And you're gonna try one of the cast-ons that I have in the separate video and see if it's nice and stretchy. So that's it for the chart and getting started with the knit along.